we have Reckless coming back. We have Reckless coming back. The last time we saw Reckless in Fnatic was the World Championship 2020. And that performance from Reckless and Hilly was wonderful. It was astonishing. I think Hilly played like probably the best support of the whole tournament and i'm mentioning hilly because i think that's a very important aspect of this reckless and hilly mind-blowing mind-blowing performance last time reckless was on fanatic fantastic things happened so the, the the main thing about reckless's career right is the man at this point you know he couldn't play in in the lec just yet he was just a little bit too young so he was on loan to copenhagen wolves i lost a tournament to him here because my AD carry had the flu, which was freeze, and I had to play AD carry against Reckless. I played Caitlyn, he went even against my Caitlyn, and then we lost the game later on because they were just vibing. Then he joined Fnatic. Things were good, but they lost to Alliance. They lost to Alliance in the final. Uh, Fnatic, uh, Reckless, got a little bit of a whiff of <laughs> maybe, potentially, you know, greener grass. He joined Alliance, they played one split, and they didn't even make playoffs. So they made an arguable improvement in their AD carry position. They lost tabs. This was the roster with uh, Froggen, Wicked, Shook, and Nif. And they couldn't even make playoffs. It was a big meme. Very big meme. Instantly realized his mistake and went back to Fnatic that happened to win that split that year. He went from not reaching playoffs to coming back to Fnatic taking Steelback's place and then making that 18-0 run with uh, Huni, Rainover, Yellowstar and Fabian. Five years pass, Reckless, the man, just has the performance of a lifetime and thinks to himself, I am sick and tired of getting beaten by Caps and Caps and Perks and these fucking guys going to game fives i am so sick and tired of losing to g2 i am sick and tired of losing to g2 i am going to join them once again where the grass is greener and what ends up happening is that as he's heading in to the best of five that is going to decide the faith of him and his team going to the world championship he comes out short against Fnatic. And I remember that very clearly because I was there on that day. I was there on that day. And what thought to have been a downward spiral continued. Everyone was exciting for Karma. Everyone was very excited for Karma and Corp Reckless. But even that story ended quite bitter as Karma and Corp didn't manage to qualify to the final uh, EU Masters that Reckless could have potentially played on the Karma and Corp. And now he's back. To the black and orange the home where reckless has always found ways to find peaks what is it that is different about this time around reckless joining into this team i think a big part of it is of course that um no player from past fanatic rosters are in fanatic the coaching staff is different the team is different the facility is different so that idea of coming back to comfort might be true but it isn't completely true maybe it's a jersey that makes him feel some type of way fanatic as well so inherently reckless being such a major figure of course for what fanatic history is and what lec history is it's very exciting in itself to see reckless back in that black and orange jersey but this time I believe this will be the most challenging return to Fnatic that Reckless has ever faced. This is his opportunity to really, really deliver because he will have to. He will have to. 